one year later and the emotion is still raw. Let's get you caught up. Yeah, absolutely. Jennifer, the 25 year old was out for a jog in Brunswick when he was shot and killed. No one was arrested until video of the shooting was released weeks later. Travis and Gregory McMichael are both charged with this murder, as is William Roddy Bryant. Now, Ahmaud Arbery's death sparked movements all across the country demanding justice. One call to action is uniting black runners who say enough is enough and fighting against the threats that killed Arbery one year ago. 11 Lives Hope Forward kicks off our team coverage tonight. Hope. It's hard for Edward Walton to remember a time when he didn't run. My mom told me I was walking like seven and a half months, right? Because I was scared of the vacuum cleaner. So when I hear it, I would jump up and run. So almost eight years ago in Atlanta, Walton co-founded the Black Men Running Group with his longtime friend to encourage healthy patterns in the black community. Allison Desir started a group, Harlem Run, for a similar reason, but also because she felt their safety in numbers. After what happened to Ahmaud Arbery in broad daylight. The Ahmaud Arbery video shook many runners to the core. I watched it once. It still was a shock to my system. Desir, also a member of the Running Industry Diversity Coalition, says black runners often make adjustments for safety. No hoodies, stay away from certain neighborhoods. If a black person is running, they must be running from something. Walton remembers times when overt racism crossed his path. We've been called the N-word if we drove by. We've had folks come to their doors, especially if we run through neighborhoods we haven't seen. This is all due to white supremacy. The idea that black bodies must be controlled. He could just be going for a run is like unimaginable. And Arbery's death will resonate for some time and runners hope to see change and inclusiveness so they can continue to enjoy runs without having to worry about running for their lives. We're not going to solve this tomorrow. I have hopes that for my son, he enters a different world. Hashtag run for mod is trending tonight as runners across the state and country jog 2.23 miles in Aubrey's honor. We are where Atlanta speaks and many of you are sharing photos of your runs online. Some saying running while black should not be a crime. Others saying they're running for justice. Many Georgia leaders are also raising awareness about Aubrey's death. Senator Revan Raphael Warnock tweeting too many young black lives have been cut short. And it's why we must continue to say black lives matter. And Representative Lucy McBath saying, I hope one day no parent will ever have to go through the same pain.